You ever open a can of sardines? That's what it's like. We just got rained out. We were at the farm that's furthest from the main farm. So that's why we're all packed into the 46 because we figured it wasn't worth all the tire wear on the combine and the 82 to bring them all back. So we even got Rocket in here. Rocket! We filled four semis before the rain started. So at least we got that much done. Travis said it was about half a farm. Just gotta wait for it to dry out again, which maybe next week. Hopefully we can get up there and get that farm all done. You know, it always really surprises me just how quickly we can get back out into the field at this time of year uh, after it rains. It's really not that muddy. I think I have to attribute that to the fact that we've gotten a couple frosts already, which has probably hard, which is probably starting to harden the ground and reduces the infiltration of the water, which means more water evaporates and runs off rather than infiltrating and making it muddy. So I just got in the mail um, the last of my two checks from the 11 acre soybean field that we harvested a while back. So I got my first check in the mail, and let me know if you guys see anything wrong with this. So that was a field of soybeans, right? Now, I looked at it, and here's the ticket sheet. So the amount that I received was $1,837. I knew right when I opened that that something was wrong. Then I looked a little bit closer and realized that they had it marked down as corn. So the yield monitor was off when we did that field and we weren't sure how many exact bushels we had, but we knew that it was more than 483 that the yield monitor said, and it came out to be 663 bushels, which that was right. But like I said, I noticed that it was written down as corn. So I called them up and they corrected it. So they sent me a second check in the mail um, that compensated me for what they hadn't paid me yet. But for this one, if you look at the moisture, you can tell that it was soybeans, and that's how they're like, uh, yeah, that's definitely not right. So for 663 bushels, they paid me roughly $2,000 for this ticket. And after deductions, it's 1837. Looking at my other ticket that they sent a few days later, this one was written out for 3,900. And it looks a little bit more correct. They showed um, exactly how much I made, which is $5,768 off of that 11 acre soybean field. So I have 30 acres of corn left and I have 60 acres of soybeans left. I added up all my expenses from this year and I figured out that how much I have to make back to break even is right around $50,000. <clears> and I wanna show you guys just like how marginal a farmer's profit is by, I'm gonna do a couple figures here. This might bore some of you, but I know a lot of people really enjoy when I do this. Um, so for 11 acres of soybeans, I made $5,768, correct? So I have that 60 acre soybean field which I have, I have a pretty good idea for what it's gonna produce. And if I take 60 acres of soybeans, multiply it by, uh, t -t 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 how much, 45 bushels the acre. Last year it did 45, uh, I could see it doing 50, um, but 45 I think is more realistic, especially for what it looks like up there. It could do less, I think, but that's 2,700 bushels of soybeans. Now, if I multiply that by roughly $9 is what I expect to make um, by the time deductions are taken and everything, uh, probably a little bit below nine, I end up with $24,300. Okay, now let's think about that 30 acre cornfield of mine. So I have 30 acres of corn. I expect it to do around 205 bushels to the acre 
Uh, it is a pretty high yielding field, but this is pretty realistic for what it did last year and the year before. Um, just kind of a basic expectation to go off of. So that's 6,150 bushels of corn that I have yet to sell up there if it does what I expect it to. Now, by the time deductions are done, I'll probably make somewhere south of $3 per bushel. And that ends up being 18,450 um, for that 30 acre cornfield. So if I add the soybeans, 24,300, that's $42,750. If I add what I've made off that 11 acre uh, soybean field, it's $5,768. $48,518. So that makes me about $1,500 short um, if everything goes as expected, which means that I have to do better than my expectations to make money back. So yes, these are the kind of the figures that farmers are looking at all year long because they never know what yields are going to do. They don't know what the crop market's going to do. Um, and that's typically why farming is a pretty high stress job, <laughs> but I want to change the figures up a little bit and show you just how big of a difference a little change makes. So the one year, the first year we ran the corn, um, on this field, it did 200 and roughly 230 bushels to the acre. Now, if I multiply that by 30 acres, I end up with 6,900 bushels to sell which is about 750 more than what I was originally expecting. Multiply that by $3 a bushel, $20,700. $20, Add what I expect to make off the beans, 45,000 plus uh, da, 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 57, 68. So that's profit of $768. Now, you really don't know what to expect. Um, you know, none of these figures are exact. I mean, it's very unlikely that I'm going to yield 45 bushels to the acre exactly. Uh, for all I know, I might yield 46 bushels, 47. And when you, especially when you start doing it with the beans, it really starts making a difference because beans are worth so much more than corn. Um, but I didn't use it in that example because I don't expect the beans to do much better than that up there. Um, one thing's a good philosophy to have as a farmer is to have low expectations. Um, by doing so, you're really not letting yourself down for much disappointment. And, you know, I still think or have high hopes for that I won't break even. I mean, every year when you do these, when you add these up, you almost always come negative. And that's really kind of sad when you really think about it because the farmer has to hold all these stresses, um, but yet everybody else is making the money. So... <laughs> I know that it's not true for everybody. Um, everyone's situation is different. Luckily for me, I work with Travis and Dad. Uh, we share equipment and we share those expenses. So in the end, it usually works out pretty well for us. So that's what I'm looking at right now. I'll keep you guys updated as the year goes on and let you know exactly how much I make and um, how much each of those fields yield. The cornfield that I was discussing uh, is entered into the yield contest. We did baby it quite a bit throughout the year, but unfortunately it did suffer quite a bit of wind damage. Uh, we had one storm in particular. So when you get wind damage, what happens is the corn doesn't really dry down quite as well uh, because the corn doesn't really go all the way through maturity and it relies on a frost killing it off rather than uh, just naturally going through what they call senescence, which is natural plant death. So, all right, we're going to keep on farming today. I got to, I got to run to the post office and send out some shirts. But other than that, I should be able to go right back over to the farm. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what the crops have to do and how they're going to perform. I got to run these checks up to the FSA office because they have their name on them and I'm just going to give them to them to pay off my loan. Bring, start bringing that number down. So thanks for watching this video, guys. Be sure to check out all of our other ones. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Be sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, all how farms work. And I will see you next time.